Good morning guys, welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we're going to start here in the bedroom and we're going to end off in, well, the bedroom. <laughs> and there's a good reason for that. Today happens to be my birthday, so thank you all so much for the birthday wishes. It, it means a lot. Thank you so much for the prayers. Lately we've been struggling um, more than I'd like to admit. However, it's been happening and it's a real thing and things have been really rough. However, last night I was able to give everything to God and a lot was lifted off my shoulders. Today we've seen some answers and it happened to be my birthday too. And well, you know, it helps when you wake up and you're blessed by the ones you love and that are in the house with you. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and then I got, I got a surprise for you guys. It's really cool. Real quick before we get to go do and talk about some other things, I want to show you a few things. So Riley picked out this really cool Camaro. So I got a new Camaro. We now own a Camaro. <laughs> we also own, oh man, are you going to believe this? A McLaren now. And it's kind of hard to see, but we own a McLaren. If you don't know already or haven't guessed it, Hot Wheels are kind of my thing, like they're around my desk, I have a key clip that's kind of a rare Hot Wheel to find, it's silver, they have a red one I'm looking for, if you know where to get one let me know. <laughs> Got a Cobra, a nice truck, and another key clip that's silver. Last but not least, we have this really sweet, I believe it's a 69 Copo Corvette. That is so cool, but you know... They didn't stop there. They got me this really cool card and they wrote inside of it. And I, I absolutely love it. It says, Dad, for all the care and guidance you've given me and for the fun times we've shared, you're always there for me. Oh, for believing in me no matter what. And most of all, Dad, for the love you give day after day, I thank you. You're always there for me and I truly appreciate that. Happy birthday. It's, an, it's a beautiful card. I love it. They got me. It's harder to see. They got me <laughs> this six pack of Hot Wheels. So not only this, there's one more thing. One more thing. And it just so happens to be a movie. Now I'm going to take just a second here. And I want to give you guys the chance to drop a comment down below and guess at what that movie is. I'll give you a hint. It came out a couple years ago. It's been on DVD for a while now. The next one comes out next year. That's all I'm going to say. That's your that's your hints. Go ahead and drop those comments. And when you once you're done with those comments, click the red subscribe button. That video, the movie that they happened to get, was Fast 9. So we will be watching Fast 9 tonight. And if you don't already know, which you if you've been with the channel for a long time, you probably do. Fast and Furious is my is like one of my things. I absolutely love it, and it just you know they've gotten away from racing and more of like the impossible. But hey, I'm all for it. It's an awesome franchise, and it's about cars. When it boils down to it, it's about cars. It's supposed to be about cars. Cars are my passion, and that's why we're here. That's why we have a YouTube channel. That's why you guys are here for the cars, the family, the faith, and the fun. Like, that's what we do. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, speaking of cars, let's take a second, dive into our day-by-day -day devotion book, and then we'll go outside for something. <laughs> just wait, all right? Just, just, just trust the process here. At the crossroads, stand at the crossroads and look. Ask for a for the ancient paths ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls but you said we will not walk in it jeremiah 6 16 see if you can detect the parallels between the people of the land of judah and the rebellious teens it won't be difficult about 600 bc jeremiah was the top the top dog prophet for the kingdom of Judah. 
During a time the people were making bad decisions, he knew they were headed for a fall and confronted them, condemning their actions. In the chapter after in chapter after chapter, Jeremiah gives warnings and advice. He doesn't want to be the bearer of bad news, but God gives him the words to say. That clear advice includes a way to escape punishment. Return faith faithless people. I will cure, cure you backsliding. Cure you of backsliding. Excuse me. I really got an itch. <clears throat> Jeremiah 3.22 In chapter 6, Jeremiah asks, Are you going to take the old, sure way, or choose your own path? Choose the good way, God's way, and your soul will find rest. But the people of Judah responded and said, responded the same way many teenagers do today. I want to do this my way. I choose not to walk down it. Jerusalem is destroyed and Judah falls. God's chosen people are once again taken captive. This is the Babylonian. The good news for wayward teens and the people of Jerusalem is that eventually restoration does come. And when the time is right, Jesus also entered the scene. What about you? When you're a teenage when your teenager faces a hazardous crossroad, it is wise to erect some warning signs and even some roadblocks. But in the end, they're going to choose their own path. Be patient. Never give up on a on God's plan for restoration. Alright, you guys get this book in the description below there is a link check it out if you want let's go outside all right so here's the reason we're outside because we have parts waiting actually they're incoming for the saturn because there's something we're doing to the saturn that well we need another part because saturn is saturn good grief anyhow we're standing next to the Corvette now, which, Cohen, please do not do that. It is super dirty. You're going to scratch it. I know, it already looks terrible. But do not wipe that off, please. In this box here, right here, there's a part that we needed really bad for the Corvette, and it is right here. Let's go ahead, and we're going to set this down, and I'll open it up, and I'll show you. This is what we needed and we have it now that is the coolant reservoir we needed one of these because well ours had not one but two holes in it now i can replace it make a how-to video get the corvette back on the road and then after we get this fixed up and are back on the road uh, technically i should do the o2 sensors right afterwards which we plan to but that'll have to wait for another day. Like it's not gonna be able to be a quick job because I still need to go buy the tool to replace the O2 sensors in the Corvette. So guys, it's a great day. It's a great, it's been a great birthday. Thank you all so much again. I appreciate each and every one of you stopping by. Cohen is going to show me the shovel. I need the shovel, we need the shovel. We gotta throw this bottle away too. So I'm gonna grab it, take it inside. All right, guys. Let's jump back inside. All right, well, if you enjoyed that video, you know what to do, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button, ring that bell, and we shall see you in the comments below. Don't forget. <laughs> Have a great night. God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. This God is fixing you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.